So in this video, we're going to talk about setting up your pages in your big commerce store. Okay, so we have our products, we have our categories, we have our options set up. Now we need to create our pages. So pages would be things such as, um, such as our terms, our shipping policies, our privacy policies, the about us and who we are, um, all these things that what people want to know when they come to our site. So instead of being in the product section, product section here, right we're going to come over to web content we're going to come over to web pages right and they already have a shipping return one built out here but it, this one's easy so we can create a web page here right um and this is going to be called the about us and you can see it's going to create the friendly url and of course guess what i have an about us page already built out and so we add it into here, increase the font size to 14. And this is, you know, this is just a really basic generic. You should spend some time on this. And there's no parent on this and there's no page child we're gonna deal with. And literally save and exit, All right? We have our about us page. So if we were to come here, and we should come down the bottom. It should be in, yeah, in the quick links, the about us. So um, our shipping and returns are there. So we come to shipping and returns, right? They have one built out for you already and you can go ahead and change that if you want. Right, what I wanna do is, I wanna do a frequently asked questions. So I'm just copying it here off screen so you don't have to watch it all. And we're gonna create, save and exit. We are going to create a new web page. We're gonna call this FAQ. And as you can see, boom, save and exit. All right, let's add one more here. And in this case here, we want to create a contact form. Contact us. Have questions, fill out the form below. All right. And what it will do is our main number, order number, phone number, full name, right? And we're going to show it on the navigation menu. And we can tell us no, we don't want to. So if we had some inner pages that we want for SEO purposes, but we don't want to actually show in the menu, we can do that as well. So save and exit that. I just want to show you what it looks like when we refresh this. Right, so if we come to the contact us, full name, email, RMA, details, they have a captcha check in here, right? So you can see you have a really simple form here. And then remember what we can do is, we can do, I'm not gonna make this. Right, and come back here and you see that RMA form is gonna be, are they, the RSS form is going to be gone. And you can see we've changed it up here. Categories again, brands. Um, you can add stuff into here if you want as well. But as you can see, it's that simple to create web pages. And you can do web pages for anything. So, um, ball blog in here, right? Is it as sophisticated as WordPress? No, it's not. Um, but it's still just a really nice way to be able to have one going up. So, if we create our first post, Welcome to Awesome Coffee. You can do tags, you can do a thumbnail image, you can do your SEO options, and you can publish that. And where's 
the blog at? So I don't know if they show the blog on here or not, but um, not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'm just showing you what you can do with this. So uh, in the next video, we'll go a little bit deeper um, into what you can do with big commerce.